So Google has announced the Pixel 6 with its own processor, the Google Tensor. And there's been lots of comparisons made to the Exynos processor from Samsung. So today we're going to see what is the difference between a Google Tensor and an Exynos 2100 that you find in the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Which one do you think is going to win? I think you might be quite surprised. Well, let's find out. So we have the Google Pixel 6 with the Google Tensor on the left hand side and we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100 on the right hand side. Now the difference between these two processes of course is that Google Tensor has two X1 cores, the Exynos only has one X1 core, but in place of the other cores there we've got Cortex A76 cores on the left hand side and Cortex A78 cores on the right hand side. And the question is does that make a difference? Is that difference really going to be noticeable? And as we're saying that already the Galaxy S21 Ultra has moved into the lead. It was the first there into the 16 thread test. Now of course both of these are octa-core processors, but there you go, it's finished that. It's now into the blur test, the beginning of the mixed CPU, GPU part of the test. So already the Galaxy S21 Ultra is steaming ahead. So the Exynos 2100 with its X1 core and three Cortex 78 cores and then four Cortex A55 cores seems to be better. And what's the frame rate going to be here on the right hand side? There we go, 26, 27 frames a second on the left hand side. What are we going to get 28 so a bit of a difference there slightly better for the pixel 6 that's good as both of them are now into the unity test however i think that the s21 ultra is in the lead of course the pixel 6 has got a 20 core uh, Mali G78 on the left hand side. We've got a 14 core version on the right hand side. So what's the difference? Well, there we go. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is the first. Now, don't worry about the colors on the right hand side. It's all about recording, reflection of the actual phone itself. That's uh, a little mistake on our side. So therefore, it's still going to get to the end of that forest path first. I think it is. Yes, it is. There it goes. What is 1 minute 27.2. So on the left hand side, what's it going to do? What's it going to do with that 20 core version of the device? Let's find out. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 1 minute 35.7. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. So as we saw there, a win for the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100, one minute 27.2, then 8.5 seconds later came in the Pixel 6 with the Google Tensor. What happened? Surprisingly, when you look at the CPU, 37.5 versus 33.4. So a win for the Exynos 2100. So actually having three Cortex 78 cores seems to be a better combination. And that was a win of 4.1 seconds. We'll get to the mixed CPU, GPU, basically the same story. 20.3 versus 20.1, very little between them. And then when we get to the GPU, 37.9 for the Pixel 6 and 33.6 for the Galaxy S21 Ultra, so faster in the Exynos 2100. Why? Even though it is an MP14, of course, we don't know about the clock speed. They don't publish those very much. So 14 cores at a higher clock speed could be and seems to be faster than 20 cores at a lower clock speed. So overall, a win for the Exynos 2100 in the Galaxy S21 Ultra, 1 minute 27.2. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test Geo. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos in general, well, hit that subscribe button. Stick around, because there are more videos coming. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.